Hello everybody, welcome back to Finance with K. My name is K and I am a money management coach. Welcome to the side of YouTube where we focus on personal finance and we focus more on you as the person than the finance itself. So let's get to today's topic. Today I'm going to share 10 things that I owe, oh, I don't know how many are there, I think there are, yeah, things that I own one of. If you don't know by now, if it's your first time seeing me, um, I am a minimalist and doing those videos, I don't want everybody to be a minimalist, but I would love everybody to be a minimalist because um, a lot of people, maybe if you don't know what a minimalist is, a minimalist is somebody who buys or does things intentionally. We don't just um, buy things. We don't just go places. We don't just invite everybody. So whatever we do, we do with intentionality. And the reason why a lot of people feel like it's depriving is because we're living in a world of consumerism. We are living in a world of trends. And anybody who does not follow a trend it's always looked at like you are a weird person what kind of a person are you everybody's going right and you are going left then there's something wrong with you no there's something wrong with the majority of the people that are going right why are we losing our own uniqueness why are we losing our own intentionality so the reason why i share this part of my life here on the finance page is because I also want people to know that it's fine to buy things and do things using intentionality instead of using popularity and trending stuff because guys you know with social media things trend very easily and people hop into trends so remember this page is for people it's personal finance but it focuses more on the person than the finance itself so I want to share things that are own one of I have written them down on my book here so when i look down i'm just like reminding myself because i don't want to make this video long the first thing is i only have one watch the funny part is that it's pink i do love pink but i don't have a lot of pink clothes um yeah so it's pink i wear this watch with everything i'm wearing black and white i'm also wearing this watch it's a digital watch it's more of a fitness watch so i wear this watch with everything i don't Feel a need to have multiple watches where I need to be changing. So yes, I only own one watch. Number two, one TV. We are a family of three. It's me, my husband, and my toddler. And we only own one TV. You know, we don't need multiple of TVs around. We only own one TV, which we honestly we don't watch a lot because most things are on our phones I, I prefer things being on my phone than being on the tv but yeah we do have one tv and we don't feel in need of having two three four five tvs you know yeah this that thing is you know this i mentioned it on my other video where i was share, sharing things that i don't buy anymore i only have one bedding for my bedding and for my daughter's bed for my bed and for my daughter's bed so it's one bedding meaning that a full set of bedding um one set of continental pillows of cushions of uh of standard pillows of um fitted sheet of um duvet cover so it's a set when i say one bedding i mean a full set of bedding which we wash weekly and then it's clean i used to be that girl i did mention on that video who used to buy each and every month i used to love beddings um and then i decided to like but why am i buying all those things i only use one bedding yes the day that i'm washing it the bed will be naked but it's just during the day um after three four hours um that things are dry i iron them i put them back i don't sleep you know during the day so the bed being naked during the day did not impact me anyhow so i was like i need to stop doing this because i'm wasting money and i stopped so i only have one bedding number four one wallet i have one wallet um yeah I don't i feel like it's a lot of admin to have multiple wallets where you you end up even forgetting uh, serious things or things that you need so I only have one wallet that unfortunately i don't have one bag yes bags are some of the things that i don't only own one of uh but i do own a minimum of yeah and imagine if i had multiple bags and i also have multiple um wallets that was going to be too much of a job for me. So I realized that I don't need more than one wallet. I just take that wallet, 
put everything that I need in it, my ID, my license, my bank cards. And then if I need to use a certain bag, I just take that wallet, put it in that bag. Then I go. Unlike having to take, now I'm using the pink wallets, now I'm using the red wallets. Now I end up forgetting other cards, forgetting my license. Now the traffic cop are stopping me. Now I'm paying tickets because I did, I forgot to take my I forgot to take my license from my other wallet because I needed to change to another wallet. To me, it was just a lot of admin, so only own one wallet. The fifth one, yes, it's one table runner. This one was the most funniest one because I didn't even realize that I have one table runner for my dining table. I realized this when I was looking around preparing for this video that in actual fact, <laughs> the other thing that I own one of, it's a runner that I've owned for over six years now. I only wash it and then it goes. I'm, I'm grateful that it still goes um, with the theme of my of my of my home because we have moved around before we, we got to our home you know when we were still renting we did move around renting with that table runner and again in our home it still fits perfectly so i only have one table runner the sixth one i know it sounds funny but yes uh, we have one car uh, we don't need two cars both of us we work from home we don't see a need of us having multiple cars and we've never owned more than one car even previously when i was still working nine to five we used to go to the same direction if we're not going to the same direction one will use a mode of transport like public transport and then one will use the car so we have never had a need for two cars and again if those two cars are both financed it's a no-no for me if you're saying okay one car we can buy cash i'm like okay it's fine as long as both cars are not financed but we've never seen a need and i don't think um okay i don't want to know about the future but not anytime soon so we only own one car and it works perfectly for us and again i only have one kitten per room i don't have kittens that i change i used to be that girl like it I used to buy multiple kittens. I will change my kitten to another kitten. And I realized that, why am I doing that? <laughs> it does not serve me. So every room has one kitten. I will wash that kitten that particular day when the kitten is washed. The room, the windows will be naked and it's fine for a few hours. Then I will then put the kittens back. So I don't have multiple kittens for rooms. One kitten per room or one set of kittens per room. That's what I mean when I say one kitten. Um, yeah, one set of kitten per room and other rooms it's blinds so i don't have those things I'm saying okay now we are in a red theme let's change the kittens let's put red now we are in winter let's i uh, know uh, i don't do that one set of kitten i wash i put back that's it and the next one is one perfume with this one it's really tricky when i was writing it i buy one perfume but recently i've had people that were gifting me with perfume so currently i have three perfumes Two, they were gift. One, it was one that I bought. So unfortunately, uh, because I do receive gifts, which will help me because it means I won't be buying any cologne or perfume for maybe six to seven or eight months. So with me, I buy one perfume and I, I will, will like to use one perfume. But gifts are welcome. You know, gifts are welcome. Um, one sunglasses. Uh, why am I saying one sunglasses? One sunglass. If you realize, guys, I wear spectacles. I just take them off when I'm recording because the light reflects on my spectacles. In actual fact, here are my spectacles. So this works well with me because it means that my sunglasses should be prescribed as well because I can't drive without wearing prescription glasses, which I'm still going to um do with the glasses but before that even i used to just own one and there's no need i only wear one sunglasses per time so i was like you know what i'm just gonna own one sunglasses i don't see a need of always changing with the outfit i'll buy a universal color normally it's just black which will match with everything and then i will use that but i'm very thankful because now it means that i can only wear prescriptive prescription um sunglasses imagine if i have to go and buy seven uh, prescription glasses it's a lot of money and again i feel like it's a waste to me it's a waste so i own one sunglasses that work perfectly for me uh, 
had this hype of having a collection of class of sunglasses so i only own one and i don't know if i can say thank you to my eyes that don't see much anymore because one prescription sunglasses will do good for me all right so thank you so much guys those are the things that i only own one of and i hope it did encourage you to say stop buying things you don't need it's fine to own one thing there's no need for you to be making collections buying things that you really do not need because people are buying them i do those videos just as a support structure because i know a lot of people don't talk about minimalism and especially in south africa if you check minimalism it's people from other countries so i do this video to say it's okay it's okay to be a minimal person it's okay if you don't like things that are trendy it's okay if you don't like buying things that don't make sense to you that's how we're supposed to be we are created all uniquely we have different taste we have different fashion just that social media it's killing the uniqueness it's killing the intentionality we always now we are expected to do things that are trending at that particular time it's not a must that's why i do those videos and again they will also help you to spend less money because you won't be spending money on things that you don't need and you will have money to save so i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget in this community we share our videos with other people let's make this a trend if there's one trend that i'm really i really want to hop into it's this trend of saying let's be minimal let's be intentional about the things that we spend money on time on and the things that we invest in because they make sense to us not because they make sense to other people so if you got to this part of the video, you are welcome to be part of the community, which is the Wealth Managers community. You can click on the red button and subscribe. And don't forget to like and comment. See you guys on my next video. Bye.